grasshopper in my bed. Every night, Hudson didn't want to sleep in his room. It was so much nicer in mommy and daddy's bed. But all that changed one day when someone started eating the orange tree. That someone was a grasshopper, a big green grasshopper with funny large eyes, big hopping ties, and most of all, a jumping little mouth. Daddy caught him in a strawberry bonnet. They looked at him through the plastic. What were they going to do with him, this orange tree munching rascal? Don't hurt him, said Hudson. Of course not, said Daddy. I was thinking we could find a new place for him. Your bedroom, for example, said Mommy, since you're never in it. Hudson burst out laughing. A grasshopper can live in my room. Why not? He could sleep in your bed. It would be very cozy for a cold little grasshopper. And the pillow would be so comfortable. You would have the best dreams in the world of warm sunshine and happy grass and orange trees as far as the eye could see. I hope he wouldn't dream of marshmallows though, said mommy. He might wake up and the pillow would be entirely gone. Hudson, still giggling, said, But grasshoppers don't need bedrooms. Why shouldn't they? said mommy. He could play with his toys when he was bored. You don't play very often with your toys. He could have a tea party with your teddy bears, added daddy. Or I'll bet he likes cars. He could race your toy cars all around the floor. In fact, he might even be able to sit in one. He might need you to read him your stories though, said mommy then. Do you think he knows how to read? Hudson thought about it. He might have listened at the window while I was practicing my letters, he finally decided. I think he could would at least be able to read little words like be and talk. Perhaps you could read to you then, suggested Daddy. What story do you think a grasshopper would like to read? Something about being hungry, laughed Hudson. Hudson peeked once more at that hungry little grasshopper. I think though, he said, that perhaps we wouldn't have much to eat in my room. You're probably right, said mommy and daddy. And maybe, said Hudson, I would like to sleep in my bed tonight. So the hungry little grasshopper did not stay in Hudson's room. They let him free in the front garden, where he might eat other plants that weren't the orange tree. But Hudson still wondered if he might like a little bed of his own. So he made a little bed with a much back and put it under the big tree. He also made Drew to sleep in his bed every night after that. Only so he could read him bedtime stories through the window.